Hey everybody, it's Chef Bobette. So in this segment, we're going to talk about all the stuff you need for all of the delicious food I'm going to teach you to prep. Let's start on this side over here. First of all, you're going to need to have yourself some type of a non-dairy milk. I prefer one, I just picked this up at Trader Joe's, that doesn't have a, a carrageenan in it and this one doesn't so that's why I chose this one. Bragg's liquid amino, this one is a standard in my kitchen. I pretty much season most of my food or salt my food with Bragg's. We're going to be needing some miso and I'll show you why. And I picked up some Daya cheese. I like the Daya for some reason my preference is Daya shredded over just the regular block Daya. But a uh, uh, block uh, mozzarella and also I like the follow your heart vegan um, cheddar cheese for my cheese sauce. You're going to need some pasta, spaghetti, tempeh, that's what this one is, red onion, bell pepper, broccoli. Oh have I got the recipe to share with you using this broccoli. You're going to be amazed. California chili pods. Definitely want to have some of this. Um, I love fresh Italian parsley and fresh basil. I've got some really wonderful uh, sauces that I'm going to teach you to make. You want to get yourself some zucchini. We're going to make some uh, lasagna. And this is sun-dried tomatoes. You want to get yourself some of those and put them on soak. Green onion. Uh, little agave nectar, this is also a standard in my kitchen. Coconut oil, need some of that good stuff. Lemon, you're going to need yourself one big giant tomato, or two or three, just depending on how many of the uh, lasagnas you want to make. Bell pepper, and let's see over here, let's get to some of these spices. This is uh, Himalayan sea salt, it's pink. I like to keep a little sea salt in the, in the kitchen. Even though I salt most of my savory dishes with the Bragg's liquid amino. Um, more of my desserts have sea salt in them, but you'll need some of this. This is no salt seasoning, and it's by Kirkland. I usually pick this up at Costco. I love this stuff. I don't know, people ask me, why are you using no salt seasoning and salt? Because it's my recipe, that's why. Anyway, you're going to need a little cumin and Italian seasoning. Ooh, I can't wait to show you guys this recipe. You're just going to be so happy and so proud. Anyway, and fresh garlic. So, you know, we try to keep it fresh when we can. But um, those are some of the most important items that you're going to need to go on this journey with me. A uh, little nutritional yeast. Let's not forget the nutritional yeast because I've got a casserole that we're going to be using some chips with nutritional yeast and some cheese. Ooh, baby! It's going to be off the chain. Anyway, let me tell you what we're going to do in this segment. We're going to make a cheesy chip casserole. I gave it some other name. I, maybe when I give you the recipe, I'll put the proper name on there, but it's chips and cheese and broccoli. We're going to have a lasagna. We're going to have spaghetti. I'm going to make chili raw and cooked. The spaghetti will also be raw and cooked. And what's so great about these recipes, you can take any of these ingredients and we interchange them. I forgot to even show you about the cashews. We really are going to use some of these cashews today. And you can just kind of mix and match and you come up with all different types of dishes with just the same ingredients. And that's what's really important because people are on a budget and they don't have a lot of time and they're always concerned about how expensive it's going to be. I'm going to show you it's not really that expensive and extremely versatile. You're going to be, oh, you know, just really love Chef Babette after I'm done with this. Make sure that when you get your cashews, you put them on soap because you always want to soak your nuts. Anyway, I'll see you next time.